In this video I will show you how you can make the flag of Greenland as a banner in Minecraft and how you can put it on a shield as well. I'm Plector and this is Plector Builds, all about making real life stuff in Minecraft, such as flags and banners. I've come to another village on my survival world server, so let's let's ask somebody here who this village belongs to, where we have arrived. There's someone over here, Hans Henrik, Malikik, Adila and Arnasak. I'm not sure where this is. Excuse me, Padilla, where have we arrived to? You've come to Greenland, sir. Oh, we've come to Greenland. So, Greenland, there's, uh, there's no banners or flags there. That's what they should have. Excuse me, sir. Torkel Leifson, don't you want uh, banners and flags, sir Torkel? Yes, we do. We, we don't know how to make them. Well, I can show you, and Jesper Grensha as well. We can show you right now. Kala lit erfaz la suat was adopted in 1989 and it's called Grönlands flag in Danish. It has two colors, red and white, and we are going to make it as similar as possible, but it's quite hard to get a half and half white and red circle in Minecraft, so this is what we end up with. Is it as good as it gets, I think. Let's start with making a loom because you need a loom to make banners well you don't need a loom to make banners but you need a loom to design the banners place it wherever you want and we need red banners for this one or you could actually do this with a white banner and do the opposite ways as we will in this video but we are going for red in this one I'm going to use the whole stack of red wool because uh, we're going to decorate the whole village. And now that we have banners, red banners, we need white dye. Using bone will give us bone meal, and the bone meal will turn into white dye. We actually also need some red dye. Beetroot will give you red dye, a rose bush will give you two red dye, a tulip will give you a red dye, and a poppy will give you red dye. We all, we all only need two red dye and we need four white dye. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. Let's go over to the loom and put the red banner up in the left corner. Add some whites and find the white roundel design. Next, put some red dye up in there and find the red pear pale inverted. Let's see if we can find it, there we are. Red pear pale inverted. Next up is more white. And we are going to find the white borgia. Here we are, this one here. More white. This time we are looking for the chief sinister canton. This one here. And then we are going for the one in the lower left corner, which is called white base sinister canton and we have to add a little bit more red which is the red pale dexter which is this one here and then we end up with this here now let's go back to the crafting table put that in the crafting table the one we just made put the rest of the red banners in there and that's how we duplicate or copy them Let's put that one of them back in the crafting table. Uh, but first we have to make a shield. And this is particularly useful if you play in Java edition. It's not so much fun in Bedrock because I don't think this is possible in Bedrock. Putting a shield next to a banner in the crafting table will put that banner onto the shield like this. And I think that looks quite cool. The Shield of Greenland. There's no doubt that this is a village in Greenland now. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Whatever you do, remember to subscribe. <laughs> 